to celebrate the marriage of Robert and Charlotte and on their behalf I welcome you all. I know it means a great deal to them that you are here today to share in their happiness on this very special occasion. Alexander Als. I, Robert Alexander Als. Take you, Charlotte Hillary Towers. Take you, Charlotte Hillary Towers. 
Charlotte and Louis Tapp. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. Okay, Charlotte, could you pick these words up to me? I, Charlotte Hillary Towers, take you, Robert Alexander Earls, to be my wedded husband. I promise to join you all in your joy of singing every musical that I Musicals you know better than any we've been singing, might, maybe, not sure, possibly have seen. I promise to explain. I endeavour to make many interesting and at times risky dinners with you and play all the board games you desire, which I will undoubtedly lose. We will go on many adventures knowing the destination will be second to our awesome journey, especially those long steep hills that I'm sure to point out. I'll appreciate your everlasting patience with me during the long climbs. I promise to notice and thank you for all the small things that you do for us and learn from our journey every day. But most importantly, I promise that my commitments will evolve and grow as our relationship does. Because one set of promises is not worth the lifetime that you have. I felt like the luckiest one on earth has been here with you today. All eyes and spectrum smile. As a, sign and as a sign of all we have promised and done this day. Of all we have promised and done this day. Okay, let's pop the ring on, please. Perfect. So it gives me the greatest of pleasures to declare that you are now husband and wife and can share that first kiss as a married couple. Again and again I'll say it 
Joe and I, it gives us great pleasure to welcome you all here today to the wedding of our daughter Charlotte to, to Rob. I must first thank you all for coming. Uh, I know Charlotte and Rob have been really pleased at how many of you have been able to make it here today. People, of course, not just coming from around the UK, but also a number of people coming from South Africa. It's really great to see you all here and, uh, and we hope you really enjoyed the day. It doesn't seem five minutes, to be honest, since Charlotte arrived on the scene as a, as a rather robust eight pound, 10 ounce baby. <laughs> what? It was, a, it, was a, it was a notable birth, partly because of the near absence of the father. <laughs> so I was working in Spain at the time uh, the, for the last few weeks of Joe's pregnancy. Uh, and this necessitated a last minute, middle of the night flight back to the UK uh, as Charlotte threatened to arrive early. Uh, luckily, I made it home to uh, be with her, with Joe for the birth. Um, unfortunately, I then had to go back out to Spain, literally a week later, for, for about another five weeks. But Joe managed very capably on her own for that period and for the next 20 years. <laughs> I must say how delighted we are to welcome Rob into the family. He is a larger-than-life character. I remember meeting Rob for the first time at a pub near Banbury. We didn't actually realize at the time, but meeting at the same pub was quite an achievement. <laughs> there have been a couple of occasions since when Rob has allegedly booked the wrong pub, uh, including last time when we ended up at different pubs, but with the same name, but 30 <laughs> minutes apart. It happened once. <laughs> Tw twice, allegedly. <laughs> Nevertheless, apart from his pub booking skills, we do love Rob. We soon came to appreciate that he is very caring, attentive, loving and generous. His, his arranging of the engagement party was a great example of making a huge effort and it made Charlotte feel really special. We also uh, very much appreciated his change in job that he went through to try and achieve a better work-life balance for their future together moving forwards. So we're very, very pleased to have Rob as a son-in-law. We're also delighted to have got to know Rob's mum, Debbie, and Steve, her partner. They are great company. <laughs> and along with Amber and Nick, they have welcomed Charlotte wholeheartedly into their family. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Oh, we just love her. We love her. We love her. We, love her. we all love her. <laughs> That's <a prime> <laughs> Joe and I are extremely proud of Charlotte, all she has achieved and the lady she has become. She is so kind, loving and thoughtful, and I don't think we could have hoped for a better daughter. We are very much looking forward to the next chapter of her life together with Rob. And on that note, I would ask you all to raise your glasses in congratulations to the new Mr. and Mrs. Else and join me in wishing them a long and prosperous marriage. Yes. Well done, Charlie. <laughs> Firstly, I want to express my deepest gratitude to Richard and Joe for all your hard work in putting together this wonderful day and for welcoming us into your family. And most important, for sharing your wonderful daughter with us. Please be rest assured she is loved and adored by all of us. Just over 34 years ago, I am, was blessed with the most amazing gift, becoming Robert's mum. Robert, was, what an adventure the last 34 years has been. <coughs> Sometimes challenging, loads of fun, and I'm sure those who know Rob best will agree, never dull. <laughs> From a young age, Rob was a charmer, friendly and open with an empathetic and compassionate nature. He draws people to him and will always go above and beyond for those close to him. I have no doubt that Rob's charm went a long way to wooing Charlie. Rob, after the last 34 years together, I would like to think that I know you better than anyone. From the moment I met Charlie, it was crystal clear that she was the one for you. <coughs> if I had to put together a wish list for a daughter, 
in law, it would have described Charlie. Kind, warm-hearted, loving, supportive, but strong and independent. I remember when we were driving to buy running shoes one day, and he told me in the car, I'm going to marry that woman. We were thrilled, and we are so blessed to be able to welcome you into our family, Charlie. You're already so much like a daughter. Rob and Charlie, as you embark together today on your next great adventure, please keep this in mind. You are walking a path together now. All of us will walk with you from time to time, along with many others in your future. But remember, we are all here for just part of the journey. The long walk will always be just the two of you. Know that today you take all our hopes and wishes with you as you start along your journey. We love you both very much. Now, if you'd like to join me in raising your glasses, let's toast to the newlyweds. May your journey together be filled with everlasting love, unending laughter, and a happiness that knows no bounds. Rob and Charlie, cheers. Mum, you have been my rock for so long, and my... <clears throat> my ever-present advisor that I can turn to. <coughs> Thank you. Oh. They broke the mother mold and grandmother mold when they made you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for making sure. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Mm. Oh. Uh. Thank you. Uh, thank you for making sure that my groomsmen and I were threaded out to the nines. They all look rather dashing, if I don't say so myself. <clears throat> and who knew it took just a team of three tailors and a few extra quid to finally make me look like this. <laughs> Charlie and I love you very much, and you've welcomed my new wife into our family with as much love as Richard and Joe did for me. Oh, here we go again. Okay. I want this, brothers. My beautiful angel, I am so grateful and blessed to be standing here married to my best friend and love of my life. I can no longer fall asleep without my very own river dance that your legs recite every night. <laughs> Michael Flatley is definitely connected to your family somehow. Every movie we watch is a journey of discovery for you as you assess throughout whether you have seen it and anything remotely abstract leads to many questions for me to answer. I have now lost more board games and card games than I care to admit and I am constantly in awe of your intelligence and drive. Charlie is like a fire of warmth. People are, are constantly drawn to her kindness and compassion <clears throat> and her ability to make anyone feel better by just a few kind worded hearts from her. I have been drawn to you since the moment I met you. You magnify all the best qualities in me and teach and motivate me, motivate me every day. <sighs> My life became infinitely better the moment you stepped in and I cannot wait to spend the rest of it with you. I love you, my beautiful. Here's to us. Most importantly, here's to you. <laughs> As you move into the next chapter, I can only offer you one small piece of advice. Don't count the lines of your bank account. Instead, count the lines that appear on each other's faces as you grow old together through life. Each one representing the smiles you share when it's them you see first thing in the morning. Or from the frowns of the inevitable arguments that none of us can avoid, but that you get through as Rob slowly realizes he's wrong. <laughs> or from the laughter that only moments shared with each other can bring, and from the inside jokes that the rest of us will never understand. Rob, you introduced me to my wife all those years ago, and I think I speak for most of the room when I say that I'll forever be, forever be grateful for the person you are and the impact that you've had on my life. But to see you go and fall in love with your now wife, and to witness how Charlie's love has made you into an even better version of you, has been one hell of a privilege. If everyone can please charge their glasses um, one more time. As I leave you with a quote from Jane Austen. <laughs> Just joking. It's Joey Tribbiani of Friends. And we are gathered here today on this joyous occasion to celebrate the love that Charlotte and Robert share. It is a love based on giving and receiving. <laughs> as well as having and sharing. And the love that they give and have is shared and received. But through this having and giving, and sharing and receiving, we too can share and love, and have and receive. 
Congratulations, guys. <laughs> I wanna be king in your story. I wanna know who you are. I want your heart to be for me. Oh, I want you to sing to me softly. Cause then I'm out running the dark. That's all that love ever taught me. Oh, I call and I'll rush out. All out of breath now. You got that power over me. My mind, everything I hold. Remember the lake in the moonlight Remember you shivered and shone I'll never forget what you looked like on that night But I know that time is gonna take me I know that day's gonna come I just want the devil to hate me Oh, I call and I'll rush out All out of breath now You got that power over me My mind, everything I hold knows you well that lesson of love all that it was I need you to see you got that power over me my mind everything I hold dear resides in those eyes you got that power over me my mind the only one I know the only one on my mind you got that power over I'm